Beautiful cake. I've got um, Mike's Beautiful Cheese, Mike's Fancy Cheese, the Young Buck, which is our lovely raw milk cheese from Northern Ireland. Um, a beautiful cheese. And uh, I'm going to um, go to make a pancake. So in here I've got uh, a wee bit of uh, an egg and I whisk that up with some buttermilk. And then I've got in some uh, Dove's Farm spelt flour, then a wee bit of organic um, white flour from Ireland. So um, that's, we've got a couple, so it's an English-Irish mismatch. And uh, into, the, into the pans, we're going to just go wee bite-sized ones here. So um, a wee canopy, just to... So the other thing I'm going to do, so we'll do, we'll do six of these, hopefully. So not too high a heat in your pan. Great thing about pancake batter too, as you know, you can do, do this up, put it back into the fridge and and bring it out when you need it. We'll do five because I like odd numbers, okay? So um, here we have, uh, this is um, one of our supporters, our slow food supporters in Northern Ireland is Corndale Farm. And this is a, a venison salami made with a Sika, Sika venison deer from um, County Fermanagh. Um, and Alistair Crown, who makes it, is in um, Lima Valley, which is in County Derry. So there we are. So that's, we're going to do that. So I, I like that combination of salami and cheese. So whenever we see the bubbles appear, and if that was our first one we put in, so we just flip that over. When you're making the pancake batter too, the most important thing is just to let it rest for a few minutes to, before you start dealing with it. They smell lovely. Oh. Last half of it down the side, but I'm not, wor I'm not worried about that. Okay, actually so we will worry about it. We will. We'll do another one. <laughs> just to be just to be good. Now, okay, so and I'll be more careful this time. Right, okay. So the we've got our we've got our cheese, so we've got our pancakes once they once they start to cook. Another couple of things. So we um in Northern Ireland here, so we're right I'm in Port Stewart, right at the very top. We we're in the height of our blackberry season, maybe coming to the end of it in the south of England. But we're at the we're at the uh, the middle or we're at the sort of the beginning of it really. Uh, this is a blackberry ketchup, so it's just uh, onion, um, onion, swell it down, a bit of wee bit of ginger, tiny bit of clove, um, loads of blackberry, sugar, vinegar, and just let that um, let that cook down. Bit of sugar, and then um, sort of really just blend it up. Pass it through a sieve to get rid of the pips. Um, just give this. Right, these are. Yeah, I think our gas is on a go flow. So there, you can sort of nice and hollow, so we'll put those and fluffy. So those are, I think we're going to discard this one, okay? So that, uh, when I say discard, um, I'm going to eat it later, okay? So that's, alright, so we'll take another. And while we're waiting for this one to cook, We'll just finish this off. So we've got a couple of lovely things. So obviously the star of the show is Mike's cheese. So we'll have it on top. We'll put the salami on top of the wee pancake. As you can see, a wee bit of the, the lovely young buck here. And just look at that there. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Just the, isn't that gorgeous? Okay. So we're going to crumble some of that lovely cheese on top of this. You have to be generous, I think. You know, this is a. This isn't really a canopy. This is more of a sort of a small starter. Proper canopy. Right, nice bit of. So just crumble that down. And then we've got one more here. That's right. Another bit of salami. Another wee bit of the cheese. And then <clears throat> all we do is we take some of the, the blackberry ketchup. So blackberries nice with blue cheese, I think, because they're nice and tart. You've got this good balance of sweet and sour here as well with the that will go lovely with the cheese. And pick up the wee bit of spiciness of that salami as well. So just a few wee dots in there. 
Now this is all very smooth and creamy and, and lush so this is just a wee tiny bit of like just spiced um, oats so we've got great oats in this country these are jumbo um, jumbo uh, organic oats from a, on a, a farm in uh, County Armagh and all I did was cook it up with some of the brighter gold rapeseed oil they're great supporters of, um, of slow food so some of the brighter gold rapeseed oil a bit of egg white a uh, bit of honey a bit of actually honey from Leona's farm and a uh, few seeds and that'll just give us a nice then bake it just a nice crunch in that and another um, supporter of slow food in Northern Ireland is Burren Balsamics so we've got Susie um, Hamilton Stubbers so this is a, a new product they've done so they uh, take Italian uh, balsamic and infuse it with fruits and uh, vegetables from from Northern Ireland so this is a a blackberry vinegar, blackberry and thyme vinegar, but they've made these into wee pearls, so like a caviar. So it takes a few of those. These are lovely. They're just they just get a, such a a lovely pop of flavour. So even just to have that, even just to have a few of those, just with some of Mike's lovely young buck cheese would be would be good on its own. There we are. But so we've got the nice pancake as well. So that, that's our first dish using Mike's um, Young Buck Cheese. So we've got a wee um, spelt pancake, we've got some uh, venison salami, uh, we've got uh, Mike's Cheese, the star here, we've got the blackberry ketchup and then we've got the blackberry, blackberry and thyme balsamic pearls and then we've got some of the oats. So it's a real collaboration with uh, Mike's, um, Mike's Young Buck Cheese at the heart of the whole thing. So, cheers. I'm just rolling out some, this is a potato bread mix. So we call this a potato, uh, well sometimes potato far, but all it is is potato, mashed potato that you dry out and then I pass it through a sieve just to get rid of the lumps. So let's say you have 500 grams of potato like that, season it with a bit of salt and we're putting in like a wee teaspoonful of butter. And then 200 grams of plain flour, and that's it. We made it, knead it up together, and this is uh, so. This is part of our. Um, if you're doing a, a breakfast in Northern Ireland, do potato potato bread. So this is uh, this is it, and then just roll it out. So what we would do traditionally then would be to cut that into four, cook that on a dry griddle or a dry frying pan um, until it's cooked through, and then render down some good bacon get the nice bit of fat and then fry that um fry that in your in your bacon fat and that would be part of our breakfast here but we've got um the young buck cheese so we want to do something with it um, so we've got, got our potato bread here and then all i want to do is um take a wee bit of just cut this out into rounds Right, and then a little bit of the young buck cheese in the middle. So there's this nice cheese here, it's a nice bit just in there. I'm about to finish off one of them with a wee bit left over. Right, and this is just some nice bacon that I fried off with a bit of shallot and some rosemary. So that goes there. Okay, just give me. And then just take another bit of this one. A bit stingy with that one there. We'll just now just take another one of the wee the other top, just over like that there and around. So it's like an Irish ravioli. Okay, with spots. Instead of pasta, okay, just like that. Just crimp the edges, there should be enough moisture in that to keep them in. So, this is our, our so the idea is then that this will now just hold it a little bit just to finish that one off. Now, 
got a couple on the on the pan here, so just onto a dry pan. Look in a wee bit. And just straight onto the pan. We don't need any oil. Smell great actually. The other thing I've done here is just a wee bit of a, just a wee bit of smoked beetroot pickle. So we'll, um, just uh, all I did was uh, take the beetroot, wrap, um, baked it until it was nice and soft. Got an apple core, cut it up into nice wee bits, um, smoked it over a bit of oak, and did it uh, then in a pickle. So one part water, one part vinegar, nice bit of vinegar, a nice bit of sugar. And then some salt and a few shallots in there, so it's like a lovely smoky, smoky, um, lovely smoked beetroot. And then just take your nice wee potato bread there, like that. And we'll just tell you what do you? We'll just uh, these will be a wee minute or two, so I'll um, enjoy those when we're finished. We'll just cut into one of these here just to see what it looks like. So just so we've got that nice oozy cheese and bacon. There's a wee bit of rosemary in there too. Nice wee bit of smoked pickle beetroot. Lovely with um with blue cheese. And I think that's that's that there. So that's our, our nice sweet potato fars finished with filled with um young buck cheese, but a smoked beetroot pickle on the side. Beautiful. Okay, I love a gadget. So this is my lovely Japanese uh, slicer. So uh, I used I taught for twenty years, and this was my leaving present from my colleagues. So um, forever grateful. I think about the college every time, and um, think, thank goodness I'm not there anymore. So these are um, out of my garden, just picked about a couple of seconds ago. These are discovery apples. Uh, I love them. Lovely eating apples, and they'll just be absolutely beautiful. What I love to do. That's it there. So that's, you know, look at that beautiful ruby red, lovely apple. And I think uh, what um, I love about Mike's cheese, even though, is it's just, for, for me, I, a slice of that apple at this time of year, some of the young buck cheese, just delicious. I'll do another one because I like using this, but anyway. You do potatoes in this as well, and I think traditionally it'll be for moolie. But uh, it works equally well as it with a Northern Irish tomato. Not a tomato, a Northern Irish apple. Right, so there we go. Look at that. So, a couple of little wee bits we're given. So, there's how to make two apples look absolutely flamboyant and beautiful. Right, so that's going to be the base of our salad. And I'm going to put some of the cheese on it as well. So uh, the other thing, I'm going to do a nice dressing. Seems about I'm going to do a nice brown butter dressing. Oh. Get a brown butter dressing for this. So uh, pan, put your pan on, and then this is um an uh, Abernethy butter from Northern Ireland, but it's a, it's a smoked butter, so it's hand rolled, traditional way, and, and then cold smoked. So just put a little bit of that. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is going to do some hazelnuts. So we've got a few nuts there. I just put, I, um, one, one of our supporters, Brock Gallon Farm, they grew, they start, they've started to grow vegetables and they, they grew some fennel, and I had quite a bit of it, so I made a fennel jam. Just cook the fennel down slowly with just with uh, some onion and garlic and then um, I just put a wee bit of not not a lot of sugar just to sort of caramelize it and then some vinegar so we just want to brown this brown this butter then we'll put in these two here uh burn balsamics do a beautiful irish peat smoked vinegar uh, i love this it's fantastic just smells like peat and it's lovely and smoky and we're going to use some of the um the brighter gold oil and, uh, and of course, Mike's cheese. So we'll just get the cheese now. 
and we just sort of crumble that all over our apple. You can just sit actually with a big, nice big clump of nice cheese, okay? And apples and just keep rolling them up in it and eating them, you know, for a lovely treat. Be nice for the farm. Some apples there, some of this lovely cheese, just over the top. Okay, now butter when it starts to foam, and you know you're nearly there. So, um, just at this stage, what I want to do, I'm starting to smell a wee bit. This is a wee bit nutty, so I'll put in our hazelnuts, let that cook down. Smells great, so it just and it's just um, that is one of the loveliest smells you know like nuts roasting on a on a nut brown butter so double nuts so some of the nice fennel jam Smell the warm fennel there, the nuts, nicely caramelised. Just take some of the smoked vinegar. Finish it off with some of the dirty gold ripsy there. The butter is salted, but what we'll do is add a wee bit of, it's just a wee local um, smoked salt. Okay. Now, and all we do then is just pour that dressing all over our salad. So that's our sort of um, early autumn on a plate there. So we've got the Discovery apples, we've got the Young Buck cheese, of course. We've got um, we've got some lovely um, butter, Abernethy smoked butter dressing with the broider gold. We've got the burn balsamics, um, peat smoked, and a few hazelnuts in there, and the fennel jam. Smells absolutely lovely. So if you just have, just get a fork and roll that up and eat that. And sure, that's that's all you need, isn't it? Looks lovely, but that's all about the cheese and all about the nice apples.